Hi, this is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the HDR tool in Lightroom. Okay, so before we get started with this tutorial, we need to know exactly what is an HDR. Well, it stands for High Dynamic Range. Basically, when we take a photograph, we capture what we can see but our eyes are actually better than the camera sensor. So we can actually see more detail in the shadows and more detail in the highlights with our human eyes. So an HDR tries to replicate this. Now to actually make an HDR image, you need more than one photograph. Usually three, five or seven images work best. Three is kind of the standard. I usually use five. So basically what it means is this, you take one photograph normally and then you take another one which is overexposed, so brighter, and another one which is darker or underexposed. You then combine these together, taking the shadows and darks from the light image and the highlights and bright areas from the darker image. Combine that together and then you get this incredible HDR photo. Now usually you would do this in Photoshop and use some really powerful tools. However, in Lightroom CC or Lightroom 6, they've incorporated this into the software, but it does work differently. So let's jump in and see how it works. Okay, so what we're working with here is these five images. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see, this is the regularly exposed image. And we've got two underexposed and two overexposed. Okay, so all we have to do, select these images, and here we can be in library module or develop module for this. And all you have to do is go right click, and you go photo merge and HDR. Okay, click on this and it's going to bring up this box here. And here is where it's going to create an HDR preview of those five images. Okay, so once it's built a preview, this is what we're left with just here. So these are the settings down the side, auto align. That means if you've taken images and you haven't used a tripod, so it's a little bit wonky or something, Lightroom will actually straighten this up for you, which is great. Auto tone, basically you can add this in afterwards. I leave it selected just so once it's created it, it's already going to have done some toning in there. So basically give you an HDR feel. Now, this section here is de-ghosting. This means if there are moving objects inside an image, like for this one, there are clouds as we can see, or trees that were um, you know, in, in the breeze. And so I've got it set to medium. What that means is when you've layered an HDR image, what happens is it brings the different elements together and it lays them over the top of each other. But that means if you've got somebody walking, then in each of the frame, they're going to be in a slightly different place. So de-ghosting basically gets rid of the ghost images and just chooses the best form of that kind of object that's moving. So it shows here in red exactly where the de-ghosting is happening. So you can see over here, it's down here where the trees have been moving and up here. So all we have to do, I leave it these settings are probably the best and hit merge. And what it's going to do now, it's going to create the HDR that you can then work with inside Lightroom. Now Lightroom's gonna take different amounts of times compared to if you have two images or seven images to actually create an HDR and also how powerful your computer is and how big the original fire file is. For example, a camera with larger megapixels gives larger images, it's gonna take more time. A computer that's less powerful, it will take more time, etc. Anyway, once it's done, it's going to create this file just here. This is, and you'll see it's an HDR DNG file, okay? So if we're moving to develop and see what we can do with this, what we'll see is automatically what Lightroom has done is it has pushed the highlights to the darkest it can and the shadows to the brightest it can. That's because we hit auto tone. So that's basically the best thing to do in within HDRs to do it. And it looks amazing. So let's do a little edit on this and see what we can deliver. Basically, if we come in here and I would probably wipe I hit option and you can move it around. Once this comes up here, it starts bringing in some areas. I know that I've got my whites as light as I can. And I'll do the same for the blacks. Gonna bring that in. You can start seeing some areas. I'm holding alt on my computer to help me. And that's starting to look great. Now, what I will also want to do with this one 
I think is I'm going to enter alter the HSL hue saturation and luminance because there are lots of green and lots of blue so I'm going to go luminance that's the how bright how reflective a certain color is okay so how bright it is so if I go for my blue luminance I'm going to pull that down this is a great trick for skies to make it look amazing and bring the slider next to it and then greens I'm going to make a little bit light and you can see the grass on this image is going to get nicely boosted as will the yellow just here just a little tiny bit and that's really starting to pop now quite amazingly and then I am going to add on my lens corrections like so Let's see what happens if I do full yeah that's looking really really nice actually um, as a final image so that's my basic tutorial on how to create an HDR in Lightroom CC if you like this video please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't but thumbs up is always better and please hit subscribe I've got loads of new videos coming loads more tutorials and loads of really awesome information about Lightroom and some more Photoshop tutorials coming as well my name is Ed Gregory for photos in color and thank you so much for listening